I really wanted to create this video because there are a bunch of Facebook ad strategies out there and a heck of a lot more real estate agents trying to stick their toe into Facebook ads themselves. If you don't really know what you're doing and you get this part wrong, you're gonna waste a bunch of time and money on ads. And inevitably you're gonna think that they don't work when in reality, it's probably gonna be your fastest way to six or seven figures. What is up everybody, Emmanuel here over at Square One Group where our mission is to help you identify your expertise so that you can scale your real estate business. So I really wanted to create this video today because we've been doing a bunch of Facebook ads for a while now, really, really successfully for many of our clients um, that are real estate agents. That said, we've got a ton of data and I wanted to share some of this data with you in case you were you know, thinking about maybe dabbling into Facebook ads. Uh, let our lessons learned really get you to your goals faster. By the way, the data that I am about to present to you today, it's gonna cost you something very, very cheap. Uh, it's only gonna take a second. Uh, go ahead and click that like button, the subscribe button, the bell icon, you know it really appeases the YouTube algorithm and we really appreciate it. So thanks in advance. Um, okay, let me get into the good stuff now. So in our experience, there are really only three main types of ads that we've tested and we've used successfully. And I really wanted to talk about those three today uh, to really help you move the needle if you're thinking about Facebook and lead gen strategies. Uh, and those particular three strategies are the VSL or video sales letter, um, the ads to a Facebook group, and lastly, the ads to a lead magnet. Now, these are three of the most popular real estate ads out there. Uh, and I want to dissect these to really help you better understand what would probably and potentially work best for you. So I really wanted to compare these three strategies against really the metrics of the cost, the temperature or really how qualified this lead is and the time or the investment of your effort in order to convert this you know, prospect into inevitably a client. So let's start off with the VSL or the video sales letter. Now, this is also typically known as maybe a webinar or a value video. They're all really one and the same. Now, this video is really designed to provide value to a lead and of course, really try to indoctrinate them into who you are and try to schedule a call with you as quickly as possible. Now, with regards to the cost of a VSL, they're actually kind of expensive. The prices really fluctuate, but on average, you're gonna be you know, expecting to spend somewhere around the $3 bill sign mark for cost per lead. Uh, now, don't get freaked out just yet about price. Uh, these leads are usually the best, AKA the warmest. And it's simply because the VSL, if done correctly, quickly indoctrinates the lead into what exactly you do. So these types of leads, become prospects very, 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 very quickly. And you're actually able to convert these types of leads into prospects and inevitably clients very, very quickly as well. So under time, we're gonna put quick. <laughs> now, there's one drawback with the VSL strategy though. And that drawback really is that if really, depending on your budget, uh, these leads are gonna come in more like a trickle. Maybe you're gonna get one or two really qualified VSL leads per week, depending on what you're spending. Now, the next type of really Facebook ad strategy or funnel strategy I wanna talk about is the strategy of posting up a Facebook ad that gets sent directly to your Facebook group. Now, this is essentially where you run an ad that is part of a funnel and you capture their information and once you capture their information, they're redirected to your Facebook group for you to nurture them. Now, the cool part about this particular strategy is that your cost per lead is actually significantly cheaper. Now, if the VSL is $3 signs, the Facebook group is actually $2 signs. Another really big benefit of the Facebook ad strategy or the leads that come from the Facebook ad strategy is that these leads actually come in a lot more frequently instead of like the trickle of one or two, you know, plus minus uh, per lead. With the VSL strategy, the Facebook ad strategy, you can actually get quite a bit, you know, maybe five or 10 or maybe even 20 per week, maybe even more than that, depending on how good your ad and your offer is. Another really cool part about the Facebook ad strategy is that you're able to get hand raisers uh, pretty quickly uh, and inevitably right after they opt into your world. However, there is this rule of thumb that comes with a cheaper lead. And with the cheaper lead, they're usually a little bit more colder and the time to indoctrinate them is a lot longer. So I'm gonna put days to weeks. 
That said, you're going to be needing to spend a lot more time really qualifying and indoctrinating these people when they enter into your world to get them to raise their hand and want to work with you. That being said, you're gonna have to spend a lot more time really qualifying and indoctrinating these leads into your world to actually get solid prospects to raise their hand. Because, you know, the honesty is you might get a lot of hand raisers in the beginning, but most of the time they're not very qualified. You're gonna need to just continue to provide a ton of value to get the good ones to actually raise their hand uh, through the Facebook group. And then lastly, we have the lead magnet strategy. Now, this strategy is essentially where you dangle like a workbook or a checklist or a resource uh, for your leads to download. Now, the good part about the lead magnet strategy is that you're actually able to get a lot of leads very quickly. I'm talking like hundreds of leads a week. But with this massive influx of leads, it's actually gonna require you to spend a heck of a lot more time not only indoctrinating and qualifying, but also chasing people down and really trying to have that conversation with them. So if we're looking at the time it takes to really nurture a lead magnet lead, it's actually a lot longer. We're looking at weeks to months, maybe even years. That said, lead magnet leads are also the most time consuming out of the three you know, lead choices that you have or that I'm presenting to you today. So it's really gonna be very difficult for you to manage this strategy yourself. This is 100% a scale strategy, definitely useful if you have a team. So then the question really to be asked is, which one is the best? Now, in my opinion, and really based off of my experience, having done all three of these strategies, the question really is dependent on your capacity. So for example, if you're a solo agent and you're already busy as it is, the VSL strategy is something much more manageable. Granted, it's gonna cost you a little bit more when it comes to cost per lead, but the people that are gonna enter into your world or really opt in, they're gonna be a heck of a lot more qualified. Now, if you're a solo agent and you don't really have any consistency with your lead gen and you're really kind of like searching and looking for when that next deal is gonna come in, then the Facebook ad strategy would likely work better for you. And I'd have to say that this is going to work better for you because you have more time to create more content to really indoctrinate the people that enter your group. And then obviously you're gonna have to triage them and then qualify them, but the name of the game here is that by you providing more value, you're gonna get more hand raisers. Now, option three, in my opinion, is what you're gonna to wanna to go with if you want massive growth very quickly. Now, at this point, it's really just all a numbers game, but if you're gonna go with this particular strategy, you're definitely gonna need help. You're gonna need someone setting, you're gonna need someone qualifying, you're gonna need someone triaging, uh, and you know, that's simply because you're just gonna have way too many leads coming in for you to try to tackle on your own. All right, so what do you guys think? What do you guys wanna try out? Let me know in the comment section below. By the way, if you have any questions about any of these particular strategies and you wanna go a little bit more in depth, um, link to our private Facebook group where we talk all things digital marketing strategy and branding and websites and all that fun stuff for real estate agents. So uh, go ahead and join the group. Link is right under this video. But aside from that, if you found some value in this, make sure you check out this video right here. Bye.